Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So today is going to be a very, very quick uh, video um, because I am trying to keep with my schedule of uploading at least once a week. But I thought this was a very neat video in the sense that when I looked on the internet or on YouTube, it was so hard to find um, a video on how to cover bruises from filler. So, I mean, they had all kinds of bruises, but like, I really never had really extreme bruising. I had just like right where the injection site was. Um, I tried covering it with foundation. I tried covering it with regular concealer. Um, and I, it just wasn't working. So I kind of had to tweak it and find my own technique. And I wanted to share that with you here today because I feel that we live in a society where filler is uh, becoming more and more popular. It's becoming more and more used by women and men today for various reasons. You know, mine is because I have sunken in eyes. Um, you can still see a little bit of bruising on this side. I wish I would have filmed this video maybe about a week ago, but I just couldn't find the time to do it. So I still have a little bit of bruising, but it's enough bruising that just alone with foundation or concealer will not do the trick. Um, and I don't want to be walking around you know, giving people the idea that I've been beat up or that something terrible, horribly has happened or gone wrong. So I'm going to try to cover it up right now, right here with you in today's video. Okay. So first you definitely want to make sure that that area under there is moisturized. I have, what I did is I missed, I mixed Arnica gel with my under eye cream and also some vitamin K. Um, you can find it at the vitamin shop. You can find it at GNC. Get yourself, if you are one that gets fillers or Botox or whatever kind of injections on your face, invest in some vitamin K and some Arnica. You mix those two together along with my eye cream and I just, you need very little. You just dab it along. It really gives you a nice lifting effect. You moisturize, you give it everything it needs. You are nurturing that area. Next, you're gonna want a beauty blender, or in this case, this is a quickie sponge by Tarte. I really have been enjoying this. It works well, has a flat edge, has a pointy edge, gives you what you need. You moisten that up a little bit and you get ready to work. You also um, want to have a dry sponge as well. Or what you can do if you don't want to have to invest in two, this is actually a beauty blender. This is a dry beauty blender. This one's a wet beauty blender, or like more of a moist beauty blender. If you don't want to do that, just wet one side and don't wet the other if you don't want to use two. But I have two, I have tons of beauty blenders in my, uh, in my vanity, so that is why I'm using two. Okay, first of all, I am going to start with a um, a peach colored color corrector. This is uh, by Urban Decay, but you can use whatever, uh, NYX has one, Wet n Wild has one, maybe everybody at this day and age has a color corrector that you can just reach in. So what I'm gonna do is solely, I'm not gonna put this all over the eye. It, if you do, you will have, it'll be challenging mixing it or blending it out and then getting the concealer to the right color for your skin tone. So don't do that. You just want to focus. So what I do is just, just like that. And then I have a little bit here, just like that. You want to fan it out. You want it to, um, a color corrector that works amazing, you don't have to do this fanning out motion here, is one uh, by MAC. It's the Prep and Prime Peach Luster Color Corrector. You'll find it where it is, where you'll find the light boost and the, ro and the I forgot, the, it's the pinky one, and then they have a medium plus. Yeah, so with this, I'm gonna use my dry sponge or beauty blender, and I am just gonna tap it. You don't wanna rub it out, you just wanna tap it okay just like that on both sides and you can see just with that it's not even you can still see the bruise slightly but it's helping next i'm going to go in with the heavier concealer this is um an older one by la mer but still works beautifully it is their Skin Color De La Mer, the Radiant Concealer Broad Spectrum SPF 20. Uh, my number is a number two. They've then, since repackaged this product, and now I think it's more in a tube. Um, NARS has a really good one. It's in the pot. Anything that, ba that basically comes in a pot, or just ask whoever's working the counter that you need a th more thick uh, concealer. 
and I'm gonna use my, this is the Sigma P88. It's a precision flat angled brush. You can find these elf sells these. Everyone sells a small little brush. This one happens to be angled. It doesn't have to be angled, just something small enough to get in this area. So I'm just gonna grab a little bit of this and I'm just gonna dab. This is a very thick concealer, so just dab it all in there. And towards the corners, you wanna like blend it out. Basically, what you're doing is covering the corner to the end of where you put the peach uh, color corrector, okay? You're not really gonna worry about blending this out out here just yet. Um, you want it to dry a little bit. And right now you can already tell, do you see a bruise anywhere? You're already looking more alive and covered more like a normal human being. Okay, next you're gonna go in with just a regular concealer, your favorite, preferably. My favorite right now, just happens to be everyone's favorite at this time, is by Tarte and it's the Shape Tape. One of the reasons I love it is because it has, it gives you the full coverage. It, um, it gives you the lifting factor. It's just really, it's not drying. It doesn't look cakey and it doesn't settle into your fine lines, which I am in my mid to late thirties. Uh, so I am having a little bit of line action underneath the eye and it's not always attractive, but the shape tape really keeps it in line. So I'm not gonna do the big V or anything. I really don't do that anymore. Um, I just do it more for coverage. So I'm gonna do one, two, three, four. That's all you need. You don't need a whole lot of product. Another great thing I've learned about doing this type of technique is uh, it's no really defined technique. It's more like my technique. But one thing I have seen is my concealer lasts so much longer because I'm not using so much product and I love it. Just make sure when you get in and around the bruising area, the more prominent bruising, you don't want to rub or anything. You want everything just to, just to, you want to pack it. You're packing layer upon layer upon layer. So you never want to rub there. So then, Okay, then I'm gonna go in with my Moist Beauty Blender. You don't want this soaking wet. What I do is I run the faucet, run, run it under and just squeeze it out and then squeeze the remainder of the water with a towel, like a kitchen towel, a bath towel, whatever. So then you're just going to bounce this Beauty Blender very lightly. Okay, very lightly. You do not want to rub any product off. Okay. Next, you want to go in with a really good setting powder, nothing with shimmer. You can use something that's light diffusing, but just make sure it has no glitter, no shimmer to it. You want to make sure that if it is light diffusing, you look in, in it and there's nothing, no glitter particles. That's not what you want here. So what I'm using today is, um, it's by Kat Von D. It's one of my favorite setting powders. It's the Locket Translucent Powder. This stuff is amazing. It does give you a smoothing um, look to it. A lot of other people might say Laura Mercier is a good one to use. Um, there's another one, uh, the Laura, Laura Mercier setting powder, also the secret brightening powder for under the eye area. That's amazing. So if you can get your hands on something like that, that's great. But any setting powder will do, um, yeah, that, that's one of your favorites that you know works for you. So I'm gonna go in with, this is still moist. I'm going in with the pointy side and I'm just going to pretty much bake under the eye. You wanna just apply that setting powder very liberally, okay? Because you're setting this. You don't want this to budge throughout the day. You wanna look bruiseless, okay? So you're just gonna leave it there. Don't be afraid to apply so much. <laughs> you want it 
to be there. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna go in and apply some foundation to the rest of my face and I'll be right back. All right guys, there you have it. I went ahead and applied foundation onto the rest of my face. I added some lip gloss by Marc Jacobs. Uh, it's I think Sugar Sugar or Sugar Something. Um, and yeah, that is everything for this tutorial. I hope you guys have learned something um, new about covering your bruising. Um, and like I said, I know I'm probably gonna get comments about filler and Botox and all of that nonsense, but everyone should be able to feel free and uh, feel good in their own skin. Uh, but from time to time, if you feel like you need to add a little something something to make yourself feel better or look better or whatever your reasoning is, then and I say, why not? So here's this video to be helpful and I'll see you in my next one. Have a great day. Bye.